Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this AZ900 exam series. In this walkthrough, we're going to learn about how to create an Azure web app using a Docker image and then we are going to test the web app as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So now we are in our Azure portal. So just to give you an idea, Azure App Service is actually a collection of four services, all of which are built to help you host and run web application. The four services are web apps, mobile apps, API apps, and logical apps or logic apps. They all look different, but in the end, they all operate in a very similar ways. Web apps are the most commonly used of all four services. And this is the service that we'll be using for this particular lab. So I'm going to create a new web app. Basically provide all the basic details we've been giving so far on the all the walkthrough, like selecting your subscription, choosing the resource group, because resource group is important for all sort of a deployment and uh, give a name for your instance. So this time we are creating an instance for your web app. So I'm going to give a name called my Docker web app, some number. Choose the container. Uh, so I'm going to choose the Docker container. The operating system as Linux. You could go with Windows as well. And select the region where you would like to host this container instance. Of course, you can come and change the plan. So by default, I choose to keep it in the premium tier because anyway, I'm going to go back and delete all the resources right after the exercise to save the cost or to avoid any additional cost to my subscription. Um, you can go back to the next page and see what are the Docker information. Is it like a single container instance or other um, image uh, source location? You can see that it's a I choose Docker Hub. You can select the access type as public and uh, you can give a name and tag for the Docker container image as well. So I'm going to call it as Microsoft ACI Hello World. Then you have other options as well, like monitoring, tagging, etc. I'm going to skip all of that because it's not relevant for this topic. And uh, before you create any resource, the ARM template will go for a validation process to make sure that you have given all the appropriate information needed for this. And once you have that, it straight away go and uh, deploy these resource. So let's go ahead and create these resources. So it looks like our deployment is in progress. Uh, the beautiful thing about Azure ARM or Azure portal is during the deployment phase, you can go to the notification and click on the deployment state and it exactly tell you what are the components which is being creating in the backend for this particular resource. As you can see that uh, it is already created or provisioned the ASP web app service which is required for this container instance. And if this is a virtual machine, you would see that before deploying the virtual machine, this would ideally should deploy the public IP, then then NSG, etc. So you can see that this resource only needed one instance to be deployed. So our deployment is completed. So I can go back to the resource group or the resource itself to see what it has been created. So you can see that my Docker web app is been created. I can access the Docker web app by going into the URL. I can simply copy the URL and uh, connect to it. You can do additional tasks by going into the quick start to see the details. You can check the deployment credentials. You can modify the configuration of the container. Uh, if you would like to change the settings, you, you, you can do that. But again, that's not for this examination. That's for AZ203 or AZ204. That's where you will go deep and learn about these concepts. For this examination, we just have to stay high level and learn the basic facts on how these things are created and how you can access these. And what is Azure Container all about? That's all we need to know. 
So I can simply go and copy and paste this and I can see that my instance is created and my web app is running properly so I can connect to the web app. So this is a test on how you would be able to create a brand new web app and how you would be able to connect to a web app. So I hope the information provided was useful. So I'm Congratulations. Now you have learned how to create an Azure web app. Now to avoid additional cost, I'm going to remove all the resources we have created for this demo. Now we have learned how to create a web app using a Docker image. Let's go and find out what we're gonna learn next. In the next module, we're gonna differentiate Azure management tools. In that lesson, we're gonna learn different types of tools you can use to manage Azure environment. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.